I remember when I was a little kid, I used to have these crazy dreams of these people I wanted to become. I would imagine myself as an astronaut. I wanted to go to space, to land on the moon. I wanted to become a piano prodigy. I wanted to make music, to produce melodies, and to become a musician. I wanted to become a writer. I wanted to write my own book. I wanted to own my own company. I wanted to be an entrepreneur, to own my own business. And throughout all those years, throughout high school, throughout college, and even into my adult life, I would have these great ideas of things that I could do and people who I want to be. And I would think it would be so genius. I would, be, I would think that, oh man, this idea is going to change the world. It's going to help improve people's lives. And I would get these ideas and I would sit down in front of my laptop or I would grab my pencil. But the moment I tried to actually do the things that would help me realize these ideas, I hit a huge wall of resistance. This huge wall of procrastination. And my brain would be clouded by this huge brain fog. And I could not for the life of me focus for longer than two minutes at a time. So I would close the laptop, toss the pencil, and hit the video games. I'd go out for a beer with my friends. And I would always rationalize, I can do it tomorrow. I can do it next time. I can do it later. There's always time next time. I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's a good day. I'll do it tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow turned into 10 years. 10 years of my life wasted in excuses. All those big dreams of the people who I wanted to become, I never became any of them. I never did anything with my life. And it got to a point where I just couldn't take it anymore. And it was a big turning point for me because I went through some true transformation over those years. I mean, a completely different person, completely different mind in every single cell of my body. And I started to do things, man. I started to get focused. I started to knock down these walls of procrastination. And I started to get results after results after results. And I soon started to live out my dreams and my passions. And so I figured out a way on how I can beat my own focus and procrastination. So what I decided to do over the last three years is really systemize this process of how I was able to go from this huge big fog and this, these walls of procrastination to be able to really focus and to start to get into what is known as these flow states. And all those states where you're just so focused and so honed in on something that everything disappears, everything starts to become bokeh in the background. Time will just start to fly by. 10 hours will go by and it'll feel like 30 minutes because you are just so focused and it'll feel like it's almost effortless. And so I have created a, an online course. This is a six week course on teaching you on how you can tap into these flow states, do it on a consistent basis, knock down these walls of procrastination to really start to live out those dreams that you always had. To actually get those ideas in your head and to get it out there in the world. 
to make them come to life, to take our arts, our craft, and to add some wings on it, to let that thing fly out to the world so that we can add value to the world. We can really start to help the world in our own special little way. So I hope this project, this course, this online course can really help you to realize and to bring alive that creator within you. And this project has taken me three long years to create and I've put hundreds of hours into this thing. So your help is highly appreciated. If you can help back this project up and, and maybe with this project, we can help you to become more productive, more focused, and we can also help to create other creators. Because that is one of the main focal points of this project is to really bring alive other people and other people's projects, other people's ideas. And I hope we can really become creators and not just consumers. Let's not just observe the dance, let's be part of the dance. Let's become that dance. I hope to see you soon, my friend. Thank you very much.